welcome to another video. This is Eleni and today I will use acrylics to create a painting of a Frida Kahlo inspired by a Pinterest photo on the cover of one big canvas journal. I always leave the painting on the cover for last after I finished all the pages in the journal, but I tend to draw a pair of eyes or a face on it from the very beginning so that I don't confuse which side is up. This is usually a face that is painted over, like in this case today. I will use a wet palette so that my acrylics don't dry out as fast. And for you that see this for the first time, it is an ordinary palette where I've put a wet with water piece of kitchen paper. And over that I've put a piece of parchment paper, as you see here. It's helpful if the palette has a tight lid because then you can close it while taking a break from painting and your acrylics will still be moist when you come back. Put the words wet palette in the Google search bar if you are more interested in this and you will find lots of ideas there. After I'm done with the cover, I will show you the flip through of this journal as well as the flip through of another smaller one. Both of them are dedicated to Frida Kahlo, so most of the pages in them are about her. Some of them from a Jane Davenport online workshop called Viva La Vida. Others are from a daily Frida art challenge that I participated in. But there are also some other themes in there, like a lot of mermaids from another daily art challenge, some hairstyles inspired by Angela Kennedy, and some other pages that are inspired by some of my favorite online artists like Jane Davenport, Willowing, The Art Sherpa, Lucy Braydon, Jenny Mano, Effie Wild, Iris Fitchy Cousins, Lucy Cook and Adi Almanza. I always like to use two different sizes journals at the same time and I prefer to use these particular ones that are canvas journals by Jane Davenport and they have very nice watercolor paper in them that I can use with all my mixed media supplies. The girl on the smaller journal cover was already printed on there so the only thing that I did was to give her the Frida unibrow. Hope you enjoy my process and the flip throughs and if you do, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment under it, but also make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified about my new videos. Thank you so much for being here, stay safe and see you soon, love and kisses.